Hi everybody! It is a blustery day this Monday up here in the Great White North and to be honest I didn't really feel like shooting this video today um, but in so feeling that I didn't want to shoot this video today I thought why don't people do things? And when I when you think back to like who's actually really really successful half the battle are people just showing up right so it's not even doing the work that comes later right and that is you know there's multitude of different ways of doing work and and different ways of being productive i was writing the 10th no 11th chapter of my book today Woo, so excited um and it was all about productivity and time blocking and distraction removal and all these other really cool tactics that i use but I realized that those are fantastic and wonderful if you show up to use them, right? So, you know, Jill, exactly, you know, to Jill's comment below, because it's easier to sit and read than it is to work. Absolutely, it's easier to think good thoughts and have good plans. But when you need to actually show up, and sometimes it's really hard, like right now, I'm I'm sitting down. If you actually watch me try to stand up right now, it'd be really really funny because I started this brand new workout plan, which is it's it's, it's going to be good. I have been promised it's going to be great, but I literally am seriously challenged with getting up and down because I've like pulled all the quad muscles or straight anyway, they're injured. And uh, and so all I want to do is not go to the gym today. I I really really don't. And yet I am going to because I, and I know this is true, but it's really, really hard because now is the time when if I go to the gym now, then that pain is actually going to subside. If I stopped now and I didn't show up to the gym today, then this pain will subside over time. But then if I try to get back into you know shape and do the same exercises later, it's going to hurt all over again. So to avoid immense pain down the road, may I suggest that you show up? Right? So I run coaching programs all the time. And one of the things I say over and over and over again to everyone who joins my coaching programs is the people who will get the most out of it are the ones who show up. And I always have live calls. I always have the opportunity for people to reach out to me. And yet, and yet, they don't come. And it fascinates me that someone, I've had people pay me tens of thousands of dollars and not show up to things. And you have to say like, why? Now, some people say, you know, I'm busy. Um, what I hear is this is not a priority for me. And so if you have something you really, really want to do, like you really, really want to do it, you have to show up first for the work and then you've got to actually put in the hours. Like yesterday I had the opportunity of doing a whole bunch of work. Mark was away, he was at a basketball game. I couldn't walk, so there you go, that was easy. Um, and, and yet, I didn't do the work I was supposed to do for a new webinar that I'm putting together for my new Life on Fire program. It's a 12 week high performance accelerator. I've got people going through it right now and the feedback I've had so far is nothing short of it being a life changing experience. And I'm going to now bring this out to the public and I can't wait to launch it. However, instead of doing work on the webinar, I watched a couple of shows on Netflix instead. And you know what? I woke up this morning and I was mad at myself and I'm like, really? Like, you know this stuff, right? So just because you may have, you know, really good thought processes and I teach high performance stuff all the time and I am a high performer, there are still times where some old habits can creep back in and we end up not showing up. But what you need to keep doing, and this, and this is what happens. Well, like, so for me this morning, I was talking to my husband and I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm mad at myself. But I will not be productive today if I was angry the rest of the day. So I have to accept the fact that a mistake was made, I didn't show up, but I'm gonna show up today. And I'm gonna show up in the biggest way possible. So today I finished my webinar and I am three people away from a question I have on ClickFunnels about how to, anyway, you don't need to know, blah, blah, tactical stuff. So. When I'm done here, I've been able to accomplish massive, massive action because I decided today to show up and that I would have the right attitude and that I would put into, into practice 
the productivity stuff that I was teaching. So if you watch my video on Friday, I talk about the power of distractions, of taking us away from where we want. The other thing that is really important about not only showing up and doing work, it's also you have to ask yourself, how badly do you want the result? And our the level of our desire to achieve something is in 100% responsible for whether or not we get there. If you say, I wanna be a millionaire, and then party all weekend and you know do stuff all evening and maybe you're distracted during your day, you're not gonna get there. Like that's impossible, right? Oh no, here comes my co-host, the cat. Um, and so, however, if instead, hello cat, um, if instead you say, I wanna get this, I wanna be a millionaire and I wanna be a millionaire within the next 12 months, well, you've got your work cut out for you but it's absolutely possible. First, if you show up, then if you do the work, all right? But in all cases, you will not do either of those things if your desire isn't strong enough. So hopefully you guys have inside of yourselves the innate and undeniable desire to reach beyond where you're at right now. I have this crazy ass goal for the rest of this year. I have no idea if I'm gonna hit it, but I have a plan and I'm gonna execute in that plan and maybe some will work and maybe some won't, but every single day I'm going to show up because the starting of success is just getting, <laughs> getting a pit. for me, for success for the gym is me getting out of this chair. It's pretty hilarious to watch me get up. Um, it usually involves me, you know, putting my hand here and the hand on the table and like, using my arms to lift myself up. It's super fun. Highly recommended. It's great for your health. Um, but I'm gonna show up today because I have a result in mind. And yes, it's gonna be painful. And that's when people that's when people give up. They give up at the first sign of challenge or pain. But keep showing up. Show up the first time. Show up every other day, right? Be there to be the one to take the opportunities. A lot of people look at other people, successful people, and like, oh, well, they had a lucky break. Well, they got that lucky break because they showed up when no one else would. So if you want more lucky breaks, if you want to have more success, if you want to make it to your goal that you've set for yourself, what I call the big, hairy, audacious, crazy ass goal, first step is just to show up. So me and my cat here, I'm going to show you a little picture of my cat. There you are. Say hi, Ronnie. All right. We're going to peace out. I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon. And if you like this message, go ahead and share. Take care, guys.